A retired Toronto police officer is breaking his silence and sharing his personal battle with PTSD. Four years ago, Ralph Fischel was suicidal, homeless, and struggling with alcoholism. But he's turned his life around, and as Shannon Martin explains, he's now focusing on helping others. The proof is that I'm here today. Ralph Fissel has spent the last four years climbing his way up from rock bottom. You know, not too long ago, there was a probation order uh, forbidding me to be within 100 meters of any police station because I had become that d dangerous towards the police. If I looked deep down inside, it was fear. He used to be one of them. Today, he returned to police headquarters sharing his personal battle. After 30 years walking the beat, he spiraled into PTSD, alcoholism, and depression. One daughter had told me, I hate your guts. A struggle many are suffering in silence and increasingly taking their own lives. In 2014, 46 first responders across Canada committed suicide. So far this year, 22. That is just the ones we know of that have committed suicide. What about all those others? Well, there are a number of services in place to help officers struggling with mental health issues. The biggest obstacle, many say, is fear of stigma or even losing their rank. The expectation used to be that you quote unquote suck it up. The chair of the Toronto Police Services Board says the force is making changes, recently forming a committee to address mental health and encourage officers to break their silence. Thistle came very close, plotting suicide by cop. A call for help to a former colleague changed everything. So I want to thank you, Tony. Oh, no problem. You saved my life. No, thank you, buddy. I'm just, that's all I wanted to make sure that you're safe. For the first time since that call, the two friends were reunited today. It needs to be addressed a lot more than it is now. We have to keep forward with it and, you know, have an outlet for other officers so they can go somewhere and feel safe without having to have the uh, ridicule of being considered something wrong with them. Thistle is now studying at McMaster U, hoping to become an addictions counselor and provide training about PTSD to first-year Toronto recruits. Shannon Martin, CBC News, Toronto.